Hebrews 11, 6, not perfected without us. The people listed in Hebrews moved and acted outwardly with faith in a way that is so amazing to us in chapter 11. And as a result, because they were strangers to the world, they were mocked, persecuted, and in many cases killed. However, they were not perfected. They did not have the satisfaction of conscience that we have now. They did not have a satisfactory rest the way we do, where the blood of Jesus through the eternal spirit can purge our conscience from dead works and bring us into the presence within the veil. Amen. We, as the sons of God, have a freedom, rest, and satisfaction there. Thank you, Jesus. Although we have the same faith and vision they had, we are now being made perfect in a manner for which they could only hope and long for. The reality we have and even take for granted is something they longed to see and never experienced. Progress in God's plan is de definitely being seen. The other thing to note is that none of this was the result of quote unquote choices. Not one of these people determined I am going to be a mighty man of God and I am going to do this. No one was trying to get into the faith hall of fame. No, every single action listed in Hebrews chapter 11 is the result of the implications of faith. Faith sets you on a different course, makes you a pilgrim and gives you a different kind of vision. Thank you, Lord Jesus. It sanctifies you from the world. As faith works, it does all those things and causes you to live regulated by something others do not see and sometimes generates counterintuitive actions that don't make sense to the world. Once you believe it is possible and perhaps even normal to go through a dormant period where these things are not so strong or the vision not so clear. We all have seasons where we get distracted by other things, including even entering into periods of worldliness and sin. The Bible tells us stories of imperfect people like Abraham, Noah, Moses, and David, who each fell into various kinds of weaknesses and failure as a result of, quote unquote, burning out. That isn't anything new. However, faith eventually wins and brings you into a place of rejoicing in Christ. Thank you, Jesus. The pattern seems to be that God gives you the vision. Then when things do not happen as fast as you think they should, there is the possibility that you can quote unquote burn out. This is all part of God's process as well to burn out your fleshly zeal and replace it with a fully assured faith that is rich in content and detail.